All right guys, now it's time to install the air filter. So first of all, what the heck is an air filter and why do you need it? Well, as you guys know, in order for an engine to run, it needs a mixture of fuel and air. So this is of course where your air comes from. This job is to suck in air from the atmosphere, from outside, clean it in this little compartment right here and output it right here. Now this pipe right here goes directly to the carburetor and the carburetor is responsible for um, pretty much everything from there. So now that this job basically is to take air from outside and supply it to your engine, how does it clean it? Well, many of the air filters, especially the ones in your car or truck, they use kind of a paper pleated filter, but this one right here is a little bit different. What it uses is kind of a foam, I know you guys can't see it, but there's like a foam padding right here and also two screens, one is right on the intake and one is right before the final hose to the carburetor. See if I can pull it out right there. So of all those different things, let me see if I can get this baby back in. So those are all the different ways that this air filter cleans the air and uh, oops. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to install it on your engine and by the way, if you guys are looking for where the air filter is on your engine, all you have to do is look at the carburetor in the big, it's probably a rubber pipe coming from your carburetor, not the fuel line, but the big, really wide one. That's your air filter. Just go ahead and follow that until you find a big plastic box, and there it is. Now the first thing I want to do is show you guys the process of how you install the air filter. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your cover is installed. So if you don't have a paper filter or whatever type of filter your air filter uses, go ahead and stick one in and then screw on your cover. Now that that's complete, what you need to do is you want to take note of everywhere where you're going to have a hose connection. First of all, the obvious is the big main hose that goes to the carburetor and that's going to go ahead and attach to the carburetor using a hose clamp right here. That's what this big thing is for. Now you may think that, hey, that's it. Once it's attached to the carburetor, it's good to go. But then if you take a closer look, you notice a couple more hose connections. First is this one right next to that big hose. And second is this one right here. Now what these are for is for a system called the PCV system, which helps pretty much remove harmful gas vapors from, well, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into detail later on about the PCB system and where to hook everything up. But for now, just remember that smaller hoses get hooked up here to protect the, well, it's to protect the atmosphere and your engine both, but just take note of it for now. So after that, what you want to do is you want to take note of where it's going to bracket to your frame. So the main location of brackets to your frame is in the rear of the air filter. So once you got everything situated, you might want to, actually you probably want to hook up your hoses first, but you want to take note that it's going to bracket right on here on the frame using two bolts. Now if you notice, there's also a bracket right here in the front of the air filter. Now actually, you don't want to go ahead and attach this one yet, you want to save that for a couple videos because this, it doesn't bolt directly on the frame, there's actually a little adapter that uh, the PCV system uses that goes in between the air filter and the frame. So don't bolt this one on yet. If you bolt this one on, it'll be secure enough so you can work on your engine and not have any problems. But anyways, let's go ahead and first adapt the hoses to where they need to be. All right, so first things first, go ahead and take your main hose and slide it over the intake section of your carburetor, and then take your hose clamp and slide it right in position where it's butted up so it can be tightened. Now they usually have just a regular flathead screwdriver, so go ahead and tighten this so it's nice and snug. And now just give it a little tug test and your air filter is now hooked up to your carburetor. Now all you have to do is bracket the rest of these bolts on your air filter, bracket it to the frame, and you'll be good to go. All right guys, now like I said, your air filter is gonna bracket onto your frame in three different locations. Two bolts in the back and one bolt in the front. But don't worry about the front bolt for now because 
we need to add another piece on there later on so you know no point taking into bolting something in there and then having to unbolt it later on so as you see the frame or the bracket from the frame and the bracket from the air filter look pretty much similar so what we're going to do is we're going to use two rubber washers and they're going to go like this I'll show you guys the positioning first you have a metal washer not a split washer just a regular metal washer and then you're going to put your rubber washer right on there now after that that's when you bolt it through your air or air filter unit right like here now in between the bracket for your air, air filter and the bracket for your frame add another rubber washer so you have a, a rubber washer padding those two things now just go ahead and put your nut on and you'll be good to go I say you'll be good to go a lot I was just up doing that Now don't tighten that all the way because you need a little bit of a wiggle room to get the other rubber washer in the other side. So again, one more time, your bolt, metal, rubber, air filter, rubber, and that's what I was talking about. We don't have much room. And then your frame, and then your nut. Now all you have to do is sit back and behold your final installation. As you can see, your air filter is now properly connected to your carburetor, bolted on the frame securely. Now just remember, whenever I talk about your PCV system, that you want to put a hose right here and also up here, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Oh, and another thing, put the uh, PCV cartridge right there, that's where that mounts. But for now... We're just worried about the air filter, so mission accomplished. Don't know what we're going to be doing in the next video, but it's going to be awesome.